This is another EOG test prep review by the Creative Compact and Math class. I was assigned number 16, which was Mr. Williams bought seven bags of flour. He used one half of the total amount on Monday and one and one fourth bags of flour on Tuesday. How much flour does he have left? I solved this one by first I wrote down the number he used on Monday. No. Tuesday, and then I wrote the number he used on Monday, and they needed a common denominator, so the common denominator for 4 and 2 was 4, so then I got 1 and 1 fourth, and 2 fourths, or 1 half, then them added together is 1 and 3 fourths. Then the total amount was 7, which I changed to 6 and 4 fourths, then I subtracted the total, then I subtracted the total amount, and I got two and one fourth, which is it. Hello, I am another member of the Creative Compact and Math class. My problem was problem number 17. It is, multi, it is a multi-step problem. The problem asks, um, you are traveling on a road trip that is 400 miles in a five day period. They drove a total of 400 miles in five days and the first day day they drove 50 miles. For that, for the other four days they drove 15 more miles than the day before. So if you do 50 plus 15 you get 65. So that's for day two. And so if you do 65 plus 15 you'll get 80. That's for day three. And if you do 80 plus 15, you will get 95. That's for day four. And if you do 95 plus 15, you get huh, 10 and 11. 110. That is not an answer up there. So we're going to have to redo this after problem number 18. No, no, I'm another member of the Compacted Math class. The question is, Stanley, Murray, and Veronica earned $300 to buy an aquarium for their classroom. Stanley earned $50. Murray earned ten dollars less than twice as much as Stanley made. And how much money did Veronica make? So knowing that um oh, Stanley made fifty dollars, so you would multiply that times two because it says twice and then subtract one and you would get ninety. So fifty plus ninety is So you subtract 300 from 100, 300 from 140, and you would get 160. So the answer is C, 160. Hi, I am another member of the Creative Compact and Math class. I was assigned number 19. Um from 16 through 20, and the problem was based on, or it is multi-step, and here's the problem. When he left the pizza restaurant, Joseph had 25 pizzas to deliver. At his first stop, he delivered five of the pizzas to the party. At his second stop, he delivered half of the remaining pizzas to his school. At each remaining stop, he delivered one pizza. pizza. How many stops did Joseph make to deliver all 25 pizzas. So here we have the important numbers and words column. So we need to take out um, the important numbers and words of this problem. So an important number is 25. And that's how many pizzas, uh, I'm going to label it with P, um, Joseph had to deliver. Another um, important word or number is 
at his first stop, he delivered five pizzas. So minus five could be it. And then another one is, well, that's basically it for now. And there's, there's a little bit more, but I'm going to show you in the working space. So, Joseph started off with um, all of the pieces, which is 25. This is the base number, so I'm going to label it with B. At his first stop, this is his first stop, he had to deliver 5, so it's minus 5. That gives you 20. And this was one stop. At his second stop, he delivered half of the remaining pizzas to a school. So half of this divided by 2 is 10. And so half of 20 is 10. 20 minus 10 equals 10. And this is two stops. You have 10 remaining pizzas. And it says at each remaining stop, he delivered one pizza. How many stops did Joseph make to deliver all 25 pizzas. So you have this one stop, this two stop, and that's the remaining with 10, which he just has to deliver one each time for each stop. So um, if he has 10 more pizzas, it's 10 more stops. So 10 more stops plus um, one and two gives you 12. Let's see if 12 is on the list um, of our answers that we have in the EOG multiple choice. A is 3 stops. That's not it. B is 10 stops. We didn't get that. C is 12 stops. It could be that. But we always have to check all the answers. And D is 25 stops. And that's not it. So the answer is C. back to you with problem 17. I worked it out wrong and now I went back and checked it. Actually, I did the process right, so it'd be 110 for four day, 95 for, for do, four days, and then it'd equal 110 if you add 15 to it. Then you'd do 110 plus 95, and that would give you 205. So let's see if it's there. This is 145, that is less, so that's not an answer. 155, which is not less, so 175, which is left, and so that would leave you with D, 205. I am another member of the Creative Compacted Math Group, and I have problem 12. Morgan's family ordered a large pizza for lunch. Morgan ate three twelfths of the pizza, Megan ate one sixth of the pizza. Emma ate one twelfth of the pizza, and their parents ate one third of the pizza. So the first step is you add two twelfths and four twelfths because one sixth equals four twelfths. Wait no, never mind. <laughs> one third equals four twelfths. So, and that equals six twelfths. Six twelfths plus three twelfths equals 9 twelfths. Then 9 twelfths plus 1 twelfth equals 10 twelfths. So 10 twelfths, if you make it smaller, it equals 5 sixths, which is 